This is an Extra Yachts X76 Loft. These are built by Paluma Yachts and it's a very intriguing machine indeed. Paluma Yachts build a lot of the really big super yachts, but these are their slightly more compact range. They've also got this one here, which we've got a yacht tour of as well, which is very, very impressive. But this is the one we're concentrating on today and this is just remarkable. It's a very, very nice piece of kit indeed. So we're gonna go on board, do the full tour, and do the engine room, the crew cabins, the interior, the exterior, everything. And we're gonna start right at the very stern. So if we come right back here. Now this is very much along the lines that's very popular in a minute to go for maximum, sort of like a beach club area out the back. In fact, there's about 55 square meters of area out the back of this one. And this is what people are wanting these days. They want to be close to the water. They don't want to be right up high, sort of hidden from it all. They want to be connected to it. So what you've got here, you've got a bathing platform that will lower to put a rib on. In fact, you can see we've got the rib over here. I think it's about a four meter rib that it will take. There's also a garage. So this whole back section here will lift up on this boat. It's being used for storage at the minute. But if you want to put a dinghy actually inside, then you can do. It's lifted out with a crane, and there's also a passerelle that extends out of here. If we go on here, you can see just how much space there is out here. What a fabulous, relaxing area that is. And as I say, it's down so close to water level, and that is just such a wonderful thing when you're on a boat. Just brilliant. We'll take a wander around this way. These are winches, stern winches, and when you power them up, they rise up and you can put ropes around them and winch into the quay. Now this owner has chosen to have his dining area outside. You can have it inside if you want. These are very much owner specifications, There's a lot of customization. So what you're seeing here is one person's ambition. And if you want something different, talk to the guys and they'll see if they can sort it out for you. We've got the sink underneath here, and there's also then the fridge is underneath that one and the ice maker is underneath there a bit of storage over on that side and then what i think we'll do is we'll head on in and we'll work our way through the whole boat a lot to see on this one it's a lovely bit of kit so just here is the galley right at the back end of the boat you can lower this down so if you want to have this linked straight through so you can talk to the crew or whatever else will serve straight out, then you can do it, or you can bring it up as it is now, and it closes this off. We've got obviously the sinks here, we've got the big Miele induction hob, we've got obviously the cooking. There's a little crew area here, like a mess area. This is quite interesting, what they've done with this is in here. This pulls out, like so, that folds over, and then that extends out in three sections, so you can have that as a seating area, put your laptop on there, dine there, whatever you want to do. Okay, if we look over here, this is the refrigeration. So fridge and freezer in there. This boat's very much in use at the minute. It's an owner's boat. Very kindly allowed us to look around it. If we head out this way, there's a couple of very gentle steps up. That takes us down to the lower deck. I think we'll have a look at that in a moment. We'll come up here first of all. Fabulous, great big saloon area here. Its boat is all about relaxing and comfort and space. Very nicely appointed. There's a TV that rises up there, so if you want to have this as a cinema area at night, then you can do. The helm station is just up around here. One quite clever thing is you've got this opaque panel across here, which gives, obviously, there's a bit of separation to the helm area. But if you want to, you can hit a button here. And that goes completely clear. So you can have the view or you can frost it, and it's like that. We're at the Cam Boat Show. They're about to open the bridge, which they do on a regular intervals. <laughs> you can see all the boats queued up here. They're going out for sea trials. They're all waiting for the bridge to open. <laughs> it's quite a sight when this lot coming in and out. And what else was I going to show you? Actually, before we come out of here, I was going to show you these. There's solar panels all the way across the roof. I think it's about four kilowatt worth. So you've got those putting power into the batteries and if we come right on forward then we have the helm station you've got doors out onto the deck we'll go out and have a look out there in a moment love this wheel that's fabulous 
IPS on this one, so you've got an IPS controller, you've got the normal throttles here, and then you've got your multifunction displays. This is displaying, um, obviously, charts here and here, and then we've got the operating system for the boat here, so this is taking us into things like breakers and all that kind of stuff. Is all controlled from here, DC power is on here, lighting, all that kind of thing. What else can I show you here? We have got the crew quarters, so they're up here, so that opens up, and that one opens up, and then I come around here. And spin on round, you can see there's a doorway here that closes that off, and then you've got two berths here in the form of bunks. And this, of course, has its own ensuite, and that's tucked away, <laughs> just checking, in here. So toilet, wash basin, and so forth. Shower, this actually pulls out of here, and then drops into there for a shower. We come back round here, there is an occasional berth here as well, but you'd normally run this boat with two crews, so I guess you probably wouldn't use that unless maybe your crewmate snores, you might want to be out there. Washing machine is in here as well, as you can see, and in use at the moment. As I say, this boat is an owned boat and it is being used. I'm very grateful that they've allowed us onto it to do the filming of the whole boat. Because quite often you find that crew areas when boats are in use are a bit out of bounds, so this is great. We're gonna head back and look at the lower deck because that's where the accommodation is. close that up but before we do that I think we will have a wander out onto the side deck and just have a look at the bow it's interesting just how short this area is it's quite clever what they've done is they've brought all of the cabin right forward almost to the front of the boat that's going to be a decent sized cabin but then freed up all that area at the back that huge 55 square meters of beach club that we saw that's how they've done it and you can walk right back down through the whole boat this way. But we're going to cut back inside because we want to go down and see that lower deck. So we'll head back here. I love these lights. They're quite funky, aren't they? And then this one will take us down to the lower deck. So we'll head forward. VIP guest cabin is right up here in the bow. Very nice size. This is all storage up along here. It's quite discreetly done, but we can open this and we'll find big hanging lockers, drawers, that kind of thing, all in place there. And if we spin on round, we will find, <laughs> spin a little bit further because I've walked straight past it, the ensuite to this one is in here. Very nicely done. We've got the separate shower stall there, and then we've got the basin, and we've got the loo. So that's that. They do a wonderful job with the wood. I love on these, the curved woods that they put in places like this. It all just feels really organic. And these, these look like marble, they're actually ceramic. The reason they don't use marble is because it's so heavy, and you don't want a huge amount of weight up here. But it does give you that beautiful marble effect without adding that massive amount of weight the marble weighs. How many times can we get the word weight and weighs into one sentence? Cabin here, again, really generous size, again, very nicely appointed. I love this color scheme. I love these lights, I think that's great. Big hull windows as well. Here you've got a hanging locker like so, again, with shelving and so forth. TV built in over here and en suite in here with the rainfall shower. And if we cross over the corridor, that's where we came down to the lower deck. And we'll find another cabin, very similar to the one we just looked at. And again, as you'd expect, the en suite back here with the shower stall. Fantastic, and again, TV's in behind here. Wardrobe is in behind this one. There we go. 
I'm opening these in case you don't believe me. <laughs> Moving on. If we come back this way, that's the cabin we were just in, but there's another cabin. This is the owner's cabin back here. And this, as you'd expect, is absolutely fantastic. Look at that, beautiful. Love the finishes, love the lighting, love the color scheme, love everything about this. It's great. Huge TV on the wall. This is for a print. The owner's not quite decided what to put in there yet. It's not just a white square on the wall for no reason, unless it's something particularly minimalist, I suppose, but I don't think it is. Nice little spot to tuck yourself away. This is real marble here. Because of the way that this is formed on the edge, you need to use real marble if you've got edges like this. But obviously it's in much smaller sections, so the weight is not quite such an issue. We've got the safe built in down there. Bit of storage here. And then if we come right on back, the wardrobes are back into this corner. So we've got one here, like so. And we've got another one tucked away just there and drawers underneath. And then finally, if we come around this corner, we will find the ensuite. Again, with the ceramics on here. It's just beautiful. It gives it such a nice vibe. And we come all the way across. Let's open this one. There we go, rainfall shower. Fantastic, more to see. You need to go up onto the top. Oh, there's a little wave in the mirror for you all. There you go. Hello. We'll stop and take a quick look at that, however. And then we'll head this way. So, there's a little flybridge on this one. Let's go and see if we can find that for you. So, back up to the main deck. And this time, we're going to go not back through the galley. We'll go over this way. And round. There is one thing I want to show you just here, actually, before we go on up, which is just tucked away in here. Day heads. And that's great because it's right back next to the beach club. So ideal, because that's where you spend most of your time. But these steps here, we're back into this galley area here, but we've come in on this side through this door, and this will take us up to a sun deck. So big sunbathing area up here. We've got the carbon fibre poles with the bimini's. It's take 30 knots of wind, apparently. And then you've got stuff like your tabernacle, your sink, Fridge, storage, and an ice maker. And a great seating area around here. So a lovely, cozy little spot. Tuck yourself completely away. Absolutely fantastic. If we look up here, you can see all those solar panels that we could see when we were in the main saloon. There they are. Fantastic. And these, all these boats I was mentioning, look at them all all queued up. There's a bridge. Because the boat shows on, they put a bridge across and it's powered by outboard engines. It hinges at one end and they just hinge it open every so often that the boat's in and out. It's quite a sight. All right, hopefully this strong wind is not muffling my words too much. The last thing to show you is the engine room. We'll talk about the performance. So, we come back around here. back onto here and this time we're gonna go this way so back past the bar that's on the beach club area and the access to the engine room is down here here we go
here we are and we find a pair of Volvo Penta IPS 1350 engines they are a thousand horsepower each they're pod drive you can see the shafts coming out the back and then the pods top of the pods right back there so they actually position the engines further forward to keep the weight distribution really good now with these engines you're looking at about 23 ish knots I think 23.5 they reckon they got out of this one cruising at 15 to 17 but you can also drop the speed back to 12 knots and you can get yourself over a thousand miles worth of range that's nautical miles about 1100 in fact so it's got some legs as well it's actually a semi-planing hull on this one it's not a planing hull it's a sort of a semi-displacement setup what's interesting is that they've put the generators on the center line normally you see these outboard but they tell me there's one here and there's another one there that apparently that reduces noise and vibration quite a bit by putting those there we've got water maker in here that's what this very scientific looking device over here is ventilation of course the fans and all of the engineering you can see all the way around there and then here is another of those panels that we've seen about the place so that's giving us access to all the systems on the boat so even down here you can get to everything and that I think is about the size of that let's come back out of here There we go, and close that one down. There we are, and I think we will wander back up to the bow and <laughs> see what's going with these boats. Look at all these yachts jockeying for position. We're at the Can Boat Show at the moment. The bridge has just opened. You can see it over there. When the, uh, when the show is in town, they put a bridge across and it's powered by upboard engines so they can swivel it open. And then all these boats queue up when it opens to get out. It's quite a sight. Fantastic. Anyway, there it is. Huge thanks to Palumbo Super Yachts. That's been absolutely fantastic. Massive thanks to you guys as ever for watching. And we'll look forward to catching you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.